So today in Caracas, the largest march of the opposition so far in this protest movement has been organized. They're calling it the Day of the Empty Pots. They're focusing on the scarcity of uh, basic goods here in the country. And as you drive around town, there's an awful lot of groups of protesters spotted around preparing for the march, but also there is a terrifyingly large amount of National Guard as well. Shortages in Venezuela are reaching ridiculous levels. Drive past the supermarket on the weekend and you'll see queues of people waiting for food. The size of the queue inside the supermarket is ridiculous. There are about 150 people there just standing patiently with exhausted children waiting to get their goods. But outside, it's even more insane. They're currently operating a one-in, one-out policy. The scarcity march was seen as an important date for the opposition movement because Enrique Capriles, leader of Justice First, the largest opposition party, was to attend. Until this point, Capriles had kept his distance from the marches. Enrique Capriles has just showed up. And everyone's freaking out in a happy way. Spend a lot of time with these protests, they all start to look kind of the same. But something definitely just changed, and that was Enrique Capriles showing up. Clearly, he's a figurehead of some significance, and clearly, people think that his presence is going to make a difference. This is basically the physical manifestation of the situation Venezuela's in at the moment. It's an incredibly divided country. On the left, you have the government and the state and the Chavistas. And on the right, you have the protesters and the opposition. Personally, I can't see this ending anytime soon. While the opposition are having their record-breaking march, the government supporters are paying their respects by queuing in their hundreds to see Chavez's grave. During the day, the scarcity march had been peaceful, but by now it's become a tradition for protesters and police to clash in Altamira Square every night. There was an enormous opposition rally in Centio Caracas, and that was very peaceful. But today, it's just another example of the zero tolerance approach the police now have to the protesters in Altamira, because everyone is scattered within moments. This is one of the least long drawn out conflicts I think we've seen so far. Everyone's been chased out of the square very quickly. We are standing in the lobby of someone's building. The police have managed to clear Altamira Square through a series of tear gas assaults from the, from the bottom side and then appearing in force at the top in motorbikes. This is the first time that they've done a pincer movement and it's totally freaked out the protesters. That's the police coming into the square for the first time. Go take a look. No, no, no. There is an awful lot of exploding where police have just successfully taken the square from the protesters. The men with the long sticks are carrying the tear gas. The police had hit protesters with all they had, chasing them from the square. But as night fell, they returned, as they have been every single night for weeks now. <laughs> 